And so I saw, of course, you know, we all follow in the shade room. We all follow a neighborhood talk. Everybody's keeping us up to date. It seems like his second bail got denied due to the text messages surrounding that whole entire video. So when people were saying, oh, my God, they gave Bill Cosby a bell, Trump bell, and all these people bell, yeah, but they weren't tampering with witnesses, like, at least to where they found it. You know, you hitting all these people up. Now they saying you hit homegirl up from Dirty Money to tell her that Dawn was lying. You got the brown skin girl talking now, okay? Brown skin girl. Brown skin girl talking. Mixed Asian girls, no. Babs, them people said. Now you jumping ahead a little bit, but I love it because we fired up in this bitch. Dawn <laughs> dropped her lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Kalina came out probably not too short, not too soon afterwards. Maybe like a day later, and was like, "I ain't see shit. I don't know shit." I, bitch, I almost wasn't even there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just for them to now say that, leading up to it, Diddy called her, thank you so much, to this baby right here, called her 54 times leading up to her saying, basically saying, I don't got no parts of what Dawn talked about. I don't know what she's talking about. Diddy! I just hope he sent the Zell before... <laughs> before she put up the post, right? I just hope to God she did not put up that post without receiving her Zell. As long as she got the Zell, then everything is good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it don't even matter. Okay, you lied, you lied. Ooh, everybody's lying nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, you got the Zell, and now here we go. So that's it. How do you feel about the claim? There's so many claims, Bab. So many claims, okay? I know Diddy insurance companies and everybody is mad. Like, bitch, we better drop this nigga. What, how do you feel about the claims that Dawn Richard, who I absolutely love, I love her so much. I, I love her artistry and I love her story. Um, how do you feel about the claims that she's saying about the things she experienced with Diddy? Um, I just feel like overall, all the claims are crazy to me, but to hit, to see this brown girl say this, right? For me, it, it, it was a different hit because everybody thinking Diddy got this type, right? Oh, Diddy mm -hmm. got this type. And obviously we here to see that his, his type is not, you know, the, the skin complexion, mm -hmm. obviously. So you know, sometimes you be close to somebody, you spend a lot of time with them, it can make you look at them a different type of way. I just think that it's crazy overall. You know, people that's judging, that's saying, oh, well, you still was there. Like, um, unless you win her shoes, then, you know, I don't really feel like you can make that call. Diddy is a powerful man. You know what I'm saying? And so I yeah. just think that is, I think that is crazy, but I'm glad that she's, that she decided to say something. I'm I'm glad. People need to be able to tell their stories, yo. People really do. And people should not be shaming people saying, oh, well, why you wait so long? Because I wanted to. That's why. Because I wanted to wait this long. Talking about. Period. Dot. Dot, dot, dot. The fuck? Yeah. Ah. And people, things change in people's life. You know, as you get older, you grow, you become a different mm -hmm. person. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it ain't for nobody to tell me when I should tell my story because I decided to not tell it three months after it happened, but I want to tell it 20 years later. I am tell my story. I can tell my story. Babs, I want to know what's your reaction to people saying that the only reason why everyone is now coming out telling their Diddy story is because they saw Cassie was able to get this big payday as soon as she did. My reaction goes back to Naya the bully. Okay? And yes, people are coming out because of Cassie came out. And then they seen that we, she took him down. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all these scared people, she done got him, hit him in the knees. He done fell down. So now it's easy to get him. Now we going to jump on them. We going to kick them in the face. We going to kick them in the chest. We going to do all this. We got, we, we washing him. That's how it goes. 
him laundry mat, okay? That's how it goes. Babs, there was a claim. Um, Arby, shout out to Arby O'Day. Shout out to Arby O'Day. Where she... Shout out to Aubrey, um, who supports who supports our channel, supports me. Thank you so much, Aubrey. She on X was talking about, or maybe I saw it on X. Basically, a while ago, Diddy was basically exchanging publishing for NDA, saying that you can't talk negatively about him, the brand, his mom, the business, any business interaction. And a lot of people were saying that. A lot of y'all, you know, the people who worked for Diddy, who were on the who were on the label, had taken that deal. Were were you one of those people who took that deal? No, I did not take that deal. They ain't offer me enough money to shut up, honey. All right, shut me, shut me up. Diddy ain't call me. Call me and say, yo, I need you to hold me down. This might be a different, this might be a different interview if I would have got the hold me down call. I ain't getting none of that. Okay. Do you care to share how much money they was offering y'all to shut up? They ain't offer me nothing to shut up. Okay. They offer me nothing to shut up, but I need a few million to shut up. And it's just my money that I worked for. I'm not asking for no hand now. Just want, I just want my money I worked for that they y'all took from me. That's all. How much money you think you are owed? I'm definitely owed a few million. Like, you know, over three seasons and looking at a lot of paperwork and, you know, the numbers that I see, like, damn, can I, like, right now, can I get five milli? That's light. That's light. Can I get five milli now? It got to be light if he walked up in the courtroom and said, I got 50. That's what I'm saying. That's light. That ain't nothing. I grew up watching Diddy. And I've shared the story before. I grew up watching Diddy, and it's just so crazy. This person, and I, I, don't, I ain't never idolized nobody. The Bible said you ain't supposed to idolize nobody. Okay, you can go to hell for that. And I ain't trying to go to hell. But I really was inspired by Diddy being this black man, you know, from where he was, who had created this whole conglomerate. And it's just like I'm just sitting here watching someone who I had a completely different view about succumb to their own devices and it just disgusts me to like see him this way, you know. And I'm not taking up for Diddy, like nigga. I want, I definitely wasn't there. And I ain't no judge or no jury, but it looked like your ass did it. You know, we done caught you in lies. They done got a thousand bottles of, 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 of baby oil and lube and shit. Guns with the serial number scratched off. Bitch, you doing something around there. Now, hold up. What I want y'all to know, what y'all, I don't know if y'all noticed that they did not even charge him with some guns yet. Yet. Like, so, you ain't running in your crib and finding all these guns and not hit you with that charge. So, other stuff is coming. Other stuff is coming. And to be honest with you, no matter what, I feel like a lot of people feel, some, not everybody, but a lot of people, this is a sad, I'm not, like, I didn't see it and was like, oh, yes. I was like, dang, this is sad. It's very sad. You know, I was like, you know, this is really sad. I just never could have imagined it. But, you know, it is what it is. And he's in Brooklyn. You already know. And so the man, listen, the bully has been taken in. It's sad when you think about everybody else who probably don't got shit to do with this and their lives are affected. You know, like Diddy owned many companies. What about the secretary lady that's just answering the phone? She don't got the job no more. You know what I'm saying? She can't, mm -hmm. she, she gotta go, she gotta go, do, she gotta go do something else. I don't care about none of them, to be honest with you. Ain't nobody, none of that secretary ain't call me and say, yo bad, I'm gonna help you get your money. I don't care.